Uh, all right, welcome back to another video. Uh, this time it's a Shogun Trail Breaker 3. Uh, yeah, Shogun used to make a bunch of bikes back in the day, kind of like, um, I'd say, yeah, like giant bicycles or something like that. Um, but yeah, I only really see them in Australia, so I don't know, maybe someone has more information about that. Um, but yeah, I'm still waiting on parts for the Kona build, so... So I do a little, start a new little project. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy, cheers. All right, got the bike home. Pretty stoked on this one because uh, I have a dad bike or cargo bike, which is uh, exactly the same. So it's super reliable. Um, but yeah, these had these kind of cool profile slash world wildlife uh, collab grips with the uh, like animal prints on them, that's pretty cool. Sometimes, yeah, when you pick up old bikes, you find some cool old parts. And then, yeah, just the Olivio group set here, so the cranks, the the, um, the left shifter was working pretty well. A little gunked up, but I can fix that, make it smoother. A little cat eye computer there. Some rust on the handlebars. Um, yeah, these bar ends here, profile design bar ends. Um, and then this shifter wasn't really working. Um, you can see if I flick it all the way, it doesn't work, but there's a little trick where you can like push up on it and sometimes the teeth engages. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna clean this out to make it work every time. Um, little reflectors here. Yeah, these uh, mid brakes again, M55 pads and then the the Chromo Fox, um, Kyoga Psycho tires, 26 by 1.95. So yeah, pretty decent. Um, tread a little worn on the top, but not too bad on the sides. And uh, yeah, Raya 26.15 uh, rims width um, here. 1 1 8 headset and 25.4 stem quill stem thread headset and then here with the classic cat eye bottle holder and these uh, not good <laughs> to tech cranks um, they actually pinned cranks uh, STX front mech there but yeah the, the cranks are pinned so you can't change out the chain rings um, but yeah, some cool little toe clips there, and then this fin, uh, chain, chain stay protective fin, cassette looks decent, um, Olivio rear Mac again, um, but yeah, same tires, uh, slightly different Tiago Psycho Edge, um, but yeah, the tread's really good on this, and then yeah, this is the same, um, Olivio brakes, I think, and then the rear reflector there, and then this Calloy quick release, pretty rusted up, and a little Tioga adapter, something probably went in there, but then yeah, this San Marco gel, gel saddle, high comfort saddle, pretty comfy. Um, but yeah, had these cool graphics, Trail Breaker 3 graphics. Um, cool with the pink and the teal. So yeah, pretty hyped on this one. Gonna start taking it apart and see how we go. All right, so first thing I do is I basically just uh, spray all the kind of rusted areas with WD-40. And I find that really helps, uh, yeah, when you're just taking the bike apart. Um, just saves you from doing it later. Saves you a little bit of pain. Um, but yeah, that works for me. And then here, yeah, I usually take my bikes, um, take my bikes apart a little different, but for some reason, this day I was just like, ah, I'll just start from the bar ends. Um, so yeah, I just started taking off the bar ends, pretty simple, just an Allen key and just undo it. Um, they popped off pretty easy, and then I wanted to save these grips because they're so cool. Um, so I put a little Allen key in there and then spray WD-40 and then after a little Allen key I was able to put a zip tie to go all the way um, down the length of the grip. 
and then yeah, just give it a spray with WD-40. Um, yeah, and then twist it around, make sure the WD-40 goes around and then it should come off. Yeah, just like that. Um, pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, same with the other grip, not too much to it here. I was just, yeah, just taking my time just because I just wanted to reuse these grips. Um, but yeah, otherwise, if you don't want to save the grips, you can just cut them or whatever. Um, here, just taking off the, the left shifter and then the right shifter I couldn't take off because um, the cable's in it way. But yeah, um, just rinsing these grips out after you spray WD-40 in them because the WD-40 has a solvent. So um, you just want to rinse that off as soon as you can. And then here, just taking off the brake cable. Um, I'm doing it and just unclicking it here, taking off the little computer mount, computer sensor, and then just, yeah, had to unwind it all the way around the brake cable. Um, but yeah, that came off. And then here, yeah, sometimes it's easy just to cut the ends off the, the brake cables if you know you're not going to reuse them. Um, but yeah, most of, most, of, most of the time you can always save them if they're not too short. Or if they're in okay condition, but um, yeah, sometimes it's easy just to cut them. It's kind of there. That way, when you're like sliding it through the cable, you're not going to have any issues pulling it out. Um, but yeah, I took the front shift off now just because I was able to get it off the cable, and then removing the the rear mac here or the front mac. Sorry. Um, same thing again. I usually also I wind up my cables and just put them aside because usually uh, um, you can kind of uh, so they don't get in the way. Sometimes yeah I am too lazy and I don't do this and they always just end up getting in the way. So this time it's just better just to do it. And here taking off the the front reflector and then the brake the brakes off no problem here again just Allen key. Um, yeah, this bike was pretty good. I think everything came off like really easily. So yeah, I got pretty lucky. Um, and then here taking off the chain. So yeah, what you do is just pull the rear mech forward and then, um, you let, you let the chain just, um, kind of hang on the bottom bracket and it'll give you more slack on the chain to kind of work with it. And that makes it a little bit easier. And then just, yeah, just slide it out. Um, taking the rear mech off, taking the front mech off here, um, cutting the little zip ties for the chainstay protector, and then here just taking off the pedals. Um, yeah, this was easier having the wheels on the bike. But yeah, pretty straightforward here. Just took the pedals off, and then here um, had a little cover with these two pinholes, so I just used this tool to undo it. And then yeah, same thing again, take off the cranks, make sure you take off that little bolt, retaining bolt. And then uh, what I do is, uh, I, yeah, I just wind down the crank tool in there, just nice and nice and snug, make sure it's straight. And then, um, yeah, you wind down the top and pop it off. But um, that's basically it. This one, this bolt, I had to spray a little bit of WD-40 in there to get it going. Um, but yeah, after I did that, it was real easy. So yeah, no problems here. Um, yeah, here just taking the lock ring off. Yeah, people usually over tighten these like way too much, so I usually have hard times. But um, this one was real easy, so I got lucky there. Um, and then here, yeah, just taking the other side of the bottom bracket off, taking the little Tiago adapter here, just using a screwdriver. No problems there. Um, yeah, and then just taking off the rest of the stuff, taking off the bottle cage the little bolts yeah always uh might soak these bolts down um but yeah here's the bike what it kind of looks like once it's all everything's pretty stripped um yeah it looks pretty clean when the bike's like this yeah so i did the whole bike like if you don't have a bike stand you could still do this um it just makes it a little bit easier but what you can do is just take off the wheels off last i take off the the stem and the seat post out and then yeah you're basically you're basically done
And here I'm just taking out the stem, the little wedge thing kind of didn't um, come out with it. Um, but yeah, you just push the stem in and then just wind, wind the thread in so it kind of catches and you just pull it out again. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. That's all done. So after the frame's all done, I give it a, a good spray. Um, once again, um, if you have a bike stand, it kind of helps here. Um, just because you can kind of move it around. Um, but yeah, I ended up um, yeah just cleaning it here and putting it on the ground afterwards anyway. Um, but yeah, just a light spray with my um, detergent and soap mix. It's just a little bit of detergent with um, warm water and a little bit of soap in there. And then yeah, it just seems seems to get rid of most most of the gunk off pretty well here. There's some sticky like chainstay protector sticker thing that I use WD-40 to get rid of. Um, and then yeah, just give it a spray after with the detergent spray and then you should be good. Um, here, just flipping around the other side, just giving a clean all over WD-40 on the hard to clean places. And then here I just put, yeah, I put the bike on the ground to clean. Sometimes it's easier on the stand, sometimes it's easier on the ground. And then here I just used a brush to kind of brush out everything. So yeah, after I give it a initial clean, what I do is um, I go through and clean each tube. So here I'm cleaning the top tube, and then the head tube, and then the down tube, um, the forks, and then yeah, and then and then so on. Um, and I find this really helps in. Um, kind of keeping track of what you've cleaned and what you haven't. And then here, um, you can see that they see some scratches from those cables from the top. And I was thinking, oh, you know, can I try to fix this up a little bit? So I kind of pulled out the T-cut for this one. Sometimes I T-cut the whole frame, sometimes I just T-cut the areas that have problems, but it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, um, uh, yeah, it has like a little bit of an abrasive unit. Just a very fine abrasive. So what it does is just kind of protects the frame, stops it from oxidizing. It's like a, um, I don't know, a, a type of formula that is used on cars. Um, but yeah, you can see it does help get rid of scratches as well to a certain extent. Um, just be careful with decals, make sure you don't go with decals or it's going to scratch up the decals. So yeah, that's basically the frame uh, all ready to go. I still got to clean the other parts and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with this build yet. So yeah, let me know what you think and we'll see how it goes. All right, that's the video. Let me know what you think um, and stay tuned for the next one. Peace.